Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to homecoming 2013 for the Dow High Chargers. Dow High taking on the Arthur Hill Lumberjacks. And uh, this is Dave Marsh along with the old ball coach Frank Altimore. Uh, about to bring you the action with the high flying Chargers. The Chargers putting up points at a furious pace this year. Already uh, they scored 176 last year, 175 already through four games this year, Coach. And uh, this offense has been rolling. Well, they, the one thing you have to recognize is the fact that they are playing with speed. The tempo of the game has completely changed. Uh, the result, and we have two teams completely the same way. Uh, Arthur Hill, 3-1. and one, Dow, 3-1. and one. Both teams coming off a loss last week, seeking to continue their seasons. Both teams playing up-tempo. Both teams not afraid to put the ball in the air. Uh, both teams' uh, defense has got to play better. So, I mean, so it should be a great game tonight. Should be a great game, and uh, should be a game where we do see some points put on the board. Like we mentioned, the, uh, the Chargers just uh, having a tremendous year, putting up 63 their first game and a win over Bay City Central, 42 against Flushing. 42 against Saginaw, and then last week in a uh, heartbreaking loss in a tremendous ball game falling at Mount Pleasant, 35-28. And so Dow High looking to get back on the winning track here against the Lumberjacks. See, the 35 is not unexpected because Mount Pleasant's a really good football team. The 28 against Mount Pleasant's defense is, I think, wonderful. So it's a, you know, and Midland plays Mount Pleasant tonight, so there's a lot of things happening. Top four teams in the league are playing each other. Yeah, we are just about to get underway here. Dow High will receive here to start, uh, to start the ball game. And uh, 81 for Arthur Hill, Josh Jones, one of the taller kickers you're going to see, listed at 6'5". Thought last week against Midley looked more like 6'7", but the kick is off, fielded at the 11. Find a little seam up the left sideline, still on his feet goes uh, Robert Ellib Ellibrock, a senior, with a nice return, and Dow will have good field position. And coach, as we always do, let's take a look at the keys of the game uh, for this homecoming uh, event for Dow High. Okay, for Dow, I think they got to keep the pedal to the metal, keep the up tempo, keep the speed going, keep first downs moving, and and keep Arthur Hill's defense on the field. Dow has an excellent kick game, uh, and they have to stay aggressive with that. And finally, they have to just simply control Arthur Hill's quarterback. He's a good quarterback and a good player. Dow High, Brendan Miller, the senior quarterback in the shotgun, and the uh, Charger flinched on the line there. Step him back five yards. That was kind of interesting formation for Dow on the, on the first play. They had quads to the field, and that's uh, that's kind of wild out there. Yeah. We'll take a look at the Arthur Hill keys to the game. Well, this is Arthur Hill's bugaboo, and that is turnovers, and they've got to avoid them, and they need a big, big passing night from Eka Henderson. And they've got to use their speed advantage both on offense and defense. So it got to be. First pass yeah. complete. It is a Miller hitting Travis McNally over the middle and it'll be a nice pickup on first down. It'll bring up a second and three for the Chargers. See, that's very confusing for Arthur Hill. They, they had, Dow had four guys and Arthur Hill only had two to cover. Caleb Richard, lone setback. Junior running back having a great year for the Chargers. Comes out of the backfield, catches the pass, sidesteps one tackler and another, and he'll pick up the first down just inside Arthur Hill territory. There is a flag on the play. We'll see what the indication is here, and that is roughing the quarterback on Arthur Hill. So the Chargers not only picking up the first down, but... Uh, tack on 15 more and that's See, the kind of mistake Arthur Hill cannot those, have. Those are the mistakes the turnovers, the penalties those are the things that really kill you Caleb Richard last week got hurt early in the game, took Dow a little bit out of their game because he's such an integral part of their offense but more important, he's an integral part of their defense, he's their best defensive player in my mind so, uh, you know, having him back and having him off, right off the bat make a play is big. Caleb Richard, 439 yards rushing on the season, 10.7 yards per carry. Amazing. 
and four touchdowns. Brendan Miller, again, the senior quarterback. He's started parts of each of the last two years, so he's had a lot of varsity experience, and this year he has just blossomed. One of the um, great uh, success stories you're going to see. Miller going deep. He's a man caught. Great catch. And that is hauled down by McNally. And inside the 10-yard line, inside the 5-yard line, a great, a great Excuse me, about the six-yard line. That was a terrific pass. He threw it into a very tight window. And uh, matter of fact, that was a bathroom window is how tight it was. And, and made a very successful completion out of it. And McNally went up and made a great catch. Well, he throws a nice tight spiral, yes, he doesn't does. he? McNally takes the handoff on the end of round, cuts up and goes into the end zone for the touchdown. And just like that, less than a minute into the game, Dow High strikes Pater. And see, there's what I'm talking about. Keep your pedal to the metal. Don't let up. No question and, about and that. that was a, they lined up, uh, no huddle, came right out, made the play. It's almost Excellent job. breathtaking <laughs> offense. Just uh, get it back and good quick decisions on, uh, on Miller's part and right on the money. Okay, the whole ball game will be decided in the next series. What is, Ar what is Arthur Hill going to do if if they respond to this quick touchdown, then we have a football game. If they do not respond to this quick touchdown, then we're going to see a running clock in the second half. X kid with the extra point for Dow High, and Chargers go up seven to nothing, just like that. And uh, really, the uh, Arthur Hill coaching staff, head coach Fred Townsend, can't be much of a worse start, really, for for them. Now he gets the kickoff and really three, three or four plays and uh, all of a sudden it's seven nothing. And Kid will do the place kicking duties. Uh, kicking game has been a, a great strength for Dow this year. See, I think it's been, it's been an awesome weapon for him. Uh, Kid is a great kicker. I mean, he's he's as good a kicker as I've seen here since uh, Phil Brabs and some of the other other players that we've had. His kickoffs are long and deep, but his punts are dangerous. Very dangerous. I wouldn't want to catch him. Well, he hasn't done a whole lot of punting this year so far, but uh, definitely a weapon to have. A little pooch kick, and that is fielded by Arthur Hill, and uh, uh, takes it out to the 41-yard line. That's Leota Swilly on the return, and so good field position for Arthur Hill. Chargers trying to take him by surprise with that little pooch kick. But uh, good coverage by Arthur Hill, and they will take over. First and 10 at their own 41. Eka Henderson, number 10, is a senior quarterback. He's a dangerous player. A lot of uh, big play threat for the Lumberjacks. And Henderson back to pass, finds his man, uh, Darian Robinson. For a minimal gain, good tackle by uh, Caleb Gandy. Going to pick up about three on the play. Uh, Darren Robinson's seven. a pretty good receiver for them. He's been their uh, top target all year long and has uh, good hands and, and very good speed. Robinson, 16 catches on the year, averages over 20 yards a catch and f has four touchdowns receiving. And a flag on the play in the Arthur Hill backfield. Dow legal procedure on Arthur Hill, and they will promptly lose those three yards and two more back to the 39-yard line. Henderson is uh, said the quarterback number 10. One of the top quarterbacks in the league. He trails only uh, Miller so far. He's 727 yards passing, complete 63% of his passes. Seven touchdowns, only one interception. Very impressive numbers for Henderson. Back to pass. He's looking deep. He's under pressure. He tucks it in and scrambles out of bounds. Run out of bounds by Gandy. Maybe, maybe picks up a half yard. He'll bring up a third and long, third and about 12. I remember what one of the keys of our game is to control Arthur Hill's quarterback. He is not afraid to run. 
So he really, when we talk about control, we talk about contain. They've got to contain him. If, if he throws the ball, that's fine. But if he runs the ball, now he's a, he's a real threat. Defensive front for Dow, trying to contain him. A quick out is complete, but a nice job defensively by the Chargers. And uh, Arthur Hill will be forced to punt. That's James Christian on the reception. Well, I said they're forced to punt. Maybe not. Maybe they just feel, what do they have to lose? It looks like they're going to go. It's fourth and six. Caleb Richard is back deep, awaiting the uh, quick kick here, just in case. And that's what it is, a quick kick. And uh, nicely done. Great bounce for Arthur Hill. And that ball is going to trickle all the way down. Oh, man. Down to the Great coverage. Yes, down to the one yard line. He did get it in time. Outstanding coverage. For a second, I thought they were going to wait too long, but uh, downs it right at the one yard line. And so Dow High will have 99 yards to go to try to score again. We mentioned Brennan Miller at quarterback number two. He's a senior. Caleb Richards, a junior. He's the running back. Wide receivers, there's plenty of them. Travis McNally, who scored the first touchdown, is number three. He's a senior. A pair of sophomores out there, Justin Cook, number eight, and Mike Robb, number 85. Like I said, both sophomores. And Mason Hayes, number 25, is a junior. It's a lot of targets for Miller. Mike Robb is a six foot six target. Six foot six target. And has excellent speed. Miller back to pass. Fires, not batted down. 20, Tyree Ramsey bats the ball down. It'll be third and 10. Offensive line for Dow. Nate Thurston is a junior, number 52. Chase McNamara, number 55. He's a senior. We got number uh, 77, Brandon Veal, junior. Austin Wilford, a junior, number 70. Caleb Richard wide open, catches it, and he's got, he's on the run, past the 30, still on his feet, there's a flag, probably yeah. gonna be a face, face mask. mask. And so, uh, just like that, Richard out of the backfield with the reception, it's his 10th catch of the year. 35 yard play, beautiful flare out of the backfield. Richard is dangerous. You can see they're trying to get him in space, and he's got good speed. He's a strong kid and uh, very elusive, as you can see. And not only do they pick up 35 yards, but they're going to tack on probably 15 more. Nope, it's the five-yard variety on the face mask, so brings it up to the 41-yard line. Richard averaging over 38 yards per reception on the year and has six touchdowns. Uh, receiving. So dangerous running and receiving is Richard. Miller keeps it. Finds a little hole. He's got room to run. Close to the first down. Probably a little bit short, but nevertheless, he gets out to about the 50-yard line. And the Chargers are on the move. Remember, they started at the one. It's a nice little play. You spread the field because they're afraid of the pass. You fake to Richard because they're afraid of Richard. And then he just keeps the ball, looks for a little hole. Runs for uh, nine yards. Richard takes the handoff. Got the first down. Plows ahead. Down to the 43. And Chargers just like that. Four plays later from the one all the way into Arthur Hill territory. Just inside the 44-yard line. Also the offensive line, Wes Miller, number 59, is a senior. And I mentioned Austin Wilford, a junior, number 70. Protecting... Miller. Miller keeps it around the left end. He finds the corner and he's run out of bounds by Robinson, but not after a nice pickup on first down. Miller Miller is a very elusive runner. He, he is. He's he, quick. Ha he has quickness. Uh, he ran around Arthur Hill. Arthur Hill is jammed up in the middle and Dow doesn't run very much in there. If you take a look at that, they've got six defenders uh, in the box. That leaves only five in space, and that's not enough. 
Miller throws deep, looking for, oh, nicely done by Henderson, batting it away. He was trying to find uh, Hayes uh, for the big strike, but uh, knocked away alertly by Darian Robinson, or excuse me, Eka Henderson. It'll bring up a third and three. That was a terrific recovery by Henderson because uh, he was wide open. There's, they run the patterns, and it just seems like there's green jerseys everywhere for Miller to, ch to uh, pick amongst. But here's the key. He finds the open guy. That is, that's the special thing about him. He does find the open guy. Miller back to pass once again. He's going to keep it. Runs ahead. He's got the first down. Cuts outside down the left sideline. Still on his feet, goes out of bounds, but all the way down to the 21 yard line. Nicely done by Miller. He's playing terrific so far with his legs and his arm. Brennan Miller at 68% completion percentage, 905 yards passing coming in today. 14 touchdowns, only two interceptions. Unbelievable numbers for the senior. McNally in motion to pitch to Richard. Cuts around and run out of bounds. Nice job again by Henderson. Going to be about a four-yard pickup for Richard. Have you ever had to give an award for most improved player ever? It might be ever. It, it would be Miller. Yeah. I mean, he's just been phenomenal this year. We were talking earlier this week. Just that phenomenal. If they had such an award for the state, he would be a most leading contender. Most improved ever. <laughs> I mean, it's not that he was, he was bad last year, the year before. It's just that he is so much better and so... So cool under pressure, and the ball that he throws, and, and this is this is the difference. He throws a very catchable ball. It's it's light. It's not a heavy ball, and that, that's sometimes the problem with a lot of quarterbacks who have zip on the ball that they throw a heavy ball. Mm -hmm. He throws a nice light catchable ball, and everybody catches it. Yeah. I mean, it's not like okay, you know, I only have one or two guys that can catch. They can all catch it. Well, it's a nice tight spiral, and it's on the money. It's it's very evident that Miller, you know, he he got that time over his sophomore and junior year. That uh, in the off season, he's it just seems like he said to himself, "I'm going to go for it and well, become the best player I possibly can." He bought into this offense, and that's the key. He bought into it. They brought it here. He brought, bought into it and has done just a great job. I'm really proud of him. Miller also 214 yards rushing on the year coming in with five touchdowns. Um, and, uh, you know, we talk about him a lot. We talked about Richard, but it's uh, it has been a team effort. It's not just a, a one-man show or anything like that. It's a very unsung offensive line simply because you don't see Miller getting sacked. There's four wides out to the left. Fakes the bubble screen, and Miller's going to keep it. And it comes a late flag. Could possibly be another face mask. Yep, face mask again. Oh, Arthur Hill, another major mistake. Miller was short of the first down. He got it to the 14. And they're going to mark it off to the nine, and that will be first and goal for the Chargers. Well, it'd be first and goal regardless, because it's a personal foul first. And yeah. Goal. Um, so Dowhai knocking on the door, going to try to uh, complete a 99-yard drive here. Richard finds a little hole up the middle, but uh, brought down. Nicely by Josh Jones. Got down to the eight. Second and goal from the eight. Just a spot where you go for the big fella. The six six Mike Robb, maybe. Little shot in the corner. Lob. Yep. Let's see. Yeah. Mason Hayes in motion. There it is in the corner to Rob, and it just overthrows him. 
instead of lofting it up for him to go up after. Uh, just let him a little too much and be third in goal. You know, Dave, you commented earlier about Josh Jones for Arthur Hill kicking off, and you thought he, he's a lot bigger than everybody else out there. A lot there, bigger. There is no I don't way think he's 6'5". Six six five. Five. <laughs> no way. We he's, were joking. We said He had to duck his head going under the goalpost. We, we said the football roster will list him at 6'5". The basketball will list him at 6'9". Oh, well, no question. <laughs> he's probably 6'7". <laughs> Miller back to pass. Still on his feet. Man wide open. Oh, unable to hold it. It was uh, Hayes uh, was really thinking about catching and keeping his feet in bounds and uh, just unable to corral it. So it'll bring up a fourth down. He found himself wide open over there on the left side. Those are two passes uncharacteristic of Miller. Usually those are, the one in the corner is on the money and obviously the open receiver just got a little too much giddy up. All right, we have a nice Max kid kicking. Now look, Marty the holder. Kick is up. Nice leg. No doubt about that 25-yard attempt. And Dow High goes on top 10 to nothing here with seven minutes, two seconds to go in the first quarter. Again, you're watching. Or we're going to take another look at the field goal by, by Kidd. Good snap, good hold. Drills it. Nicely done. And uh, Dow High on top 10 0. You're watching this Saginaw Arthur Hill HH Dow High School homecoming football game on MPS TV 98 on Charter Communications in Midland. You can also find MPS TV under channel 99 on ATT's Newverse. The game will be cablecast on uh, several occasions coming up, including Friday, September 27th at 11 p.m. Saturday, September 28th at 11 a.m. and 9 p.m. Sunday, September 29th, 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. and uh, several other times in the week's coming. Kids kick off. Drives back to the nine yard line. And good coverage. Excellent kick coverage, excellent. That was Skylar Contardi, the junior on the tackle, number 21. And so Arthur Hill has not been a good start for the Lumberjacks. They Dow High scored within the first minute of the game. Arthur Hill unable to do anything on offense, and then Dow with a beautiful long field goal drive. To go on top 10 to nothing. Let's see if this Dow High Charger defense can rise again. Anderson, the quarterback, hands it off to Tyree Moore. Oh, nothing doing. Beautiful defense. Just stuffed by Dip Nathan Thurston. And a different offense for Arthur Hill. They went into a power eye, and you take a look at Dow just jumped right up and met the challenge. And what I like about it is I'm starting to see more gang tackling on Dow, which was not around in the first couple of ball games. Arthur Hill today without their, their best ball carrier, Sylvester Lawson, is uh, uh, unable to play today. And so the primary ball carrying duties go to Tyree Moore, who's a junior. Second and 10. Quick try, oh, unable to catch it. Darian Robinson started to run up field before he had it, and it'll bring up a third and 10. Dow High defense, that defensive line. Uh, Austin Acker, number 56, is a senior. Ryan Shannon, number 61, he is also a senior, as is number 72, Matt Molesky. Linebacker crew, Brennan Miller, Caleb Richard, Jacob Loria, number 54, a senior. Chase McNamara, number 55, a senior. A lot of seniors in the starting lineup. Long pass is overthrown. Anthony DeBard DeLaban was the intended receiver. And so it's a three and out for Arthur Hill, and they will have to punt. This is going to give Dow pretty good field position. Yeah, that was a 90-yard drive that they had. It stalled out. And that, uh, you know, when I say stall out, not get a field goal. But now you've got 
not a very good kicker. And we'll see what happens yeah, here. Yeah, Dow should get Dow very should good get field position. Midfield, at Ty least. Tyree Ramsey, the punter. Good job. It's fielded at the 43 yard line. And uh, flag on the play. Still on his feet. It goes uh, Hayes. Excellent return. We'll see what the flag is. Probably coming back. Yeah, it's coming back. Lock in the back. But uh, Dow has switched the offense here, but the other rest of that starting lineup for the Dow defense, when they get out there again, number one, Caleb Gandy, number three, Travis McNally, 21, Skylar Contardi, and 25, Mason Hayes. A lot of seniors in that starting defense for Dow. Going to be cold is the indication against Dow High. And so it goes back to the 43, nullifies a nice uh, punt return, but you, you sort still, of get the sense that the yardage might field. not matter that much. That, right? I don't think it matters. No. They have great field position, and they are clicking right now on offense. The most interesting thing is Arthur Hill is not changing their defense at all. Uh, they're playing a man-to-man. -man. Miller goes down the middle, and it's uh, caught! What a catch! His pass interference. And Travis McNally, great concentration. He got hit before the ball got there. The ball popped up. He's still able to corral it for a big game. See the replay great. here. McNally started off on the left side. Going to fake the swing pass. And then that's that soft ball you're talking about. Great concentration. His receivers catch the ball. That's that catchable ball that you're talking about. Even though it got uh, deflected up, it uh, just <laughs> popped up right there for McNally to haul it in. So Dow High knocking on the door again. First and 10 from the 24. 5.46 remaining in the first half. Inside handoff to Richard. It's down to the, about the 21. Picks up a couple on the play. See, that play is hard to run. They've got six guys sitting in there, jamming it up, and you know, without a rush. And uh, goes to Hayes, and he is met. Good job defensively, Arthur Hill, that time. Play was successful running the other way on the first drive. That time sniffed out by Arthur Hill. He's going to lose back to the 23. It'll be third and nine. He's going to look for Richard, I think. He's under heavy pressure. Still on his feet is Miller. Still on his feet. He's got the first down. All the way in, touchdown! Brennan Miller, what a run! Tremendous play by the senior. Now, what he wanted to do, he wanted to throw the ball, the same pass that they threw out of the end zone to Caleb Richard down the sideline. Arthur Hill covered it. Arthur Hill sat in his own, picked up the guy coming out of the backfield, and, and did, really did a good job of coverage. What they didn't do was a good job of tackling Miller. Miller made the miss three or four different times. Excellent job. Just so great, the quick feet on that play and uh, tight rope the sideline into the end zone. His sixth ru rushing touchdown of the season for Miller. Kid again with the extra point attempt. Kick is up and it is good. 17 nothing. Dow High is rolling. It's 7. It's 17 nothing, but. It's still 437 in the first period. Yeah, Dow is just uh, just clicking. He's got to be demoralizing for Arthur Hill. Last week, Arthur Hill played Midland High here, and it had a really uh, good first half. It was, a, I believe, a one very touchdown game half. at uh, half. Yes, Close very game, good and game. then it kind of got away from him. Started to make some mistakes, and, uh, and then... Uh, uh, Midland High pulled away to win 
Uh, right now in the early going, uh, Dow High has not given Arthur Hill any room to breathe. Well, well, Arthur Hill is no answer for Miller. That's the, that's the situation. They can they drop, and they're dropping a lot of guys, and he runs. Uh, the receiver's open. He hits the open receiver. They put men in the box. He leaves and it open. Leaves it open. They make, Dow's had one running play that was unsuccessful, and that's the jet sweep to the right, and I'm going to say the unsuccessful part was they ran at uh, Jones. <laughs> right. And, and Jones kind of stood everybody up. <laughs> so they're, uh, looks like they're looking to get a new football. Apparently something was wrong with the ball they had, so Max Kidd the junior will it, kick off it, once again. It may not have been an approved football. <laughs> no, what I mean is oh, yeah. that before the game, the officials will say, okay, show me your footballs. Mm -hmm. And then they feel them and they say, okay, this is an approved, approved football. Right. Yep. All right, kid booms it. Fielded at the six-yard line. We're on the right side and uh, good coverage once again by the Chargers. It's just past the 25 and uh, corralled by uh, the Green Army over there. And so Charger defense heads out once again. Ryan Corbet, number 28, out uh, in the lineup at uh, in that left end for Dow High. Kandoff, two boy snuffed out, nowhere to run. I love that kind of defense right there, where the running back just gets stood up. And there wasn't much blocking going on, but I still think Dow did a great job of closing to the ball. I love watching Dow play defense right now. And that is they are now running to the football. You see more and more people in that picture around the football, around that seven-yard circle. Jacob Loria in on the, the play for Dow high. No gain for Arthur Hill, second and ten. Quick out is complete to Hardy. Makes one man miss. It's on his feet, and, uh, and again, a minimal gain at best. We'll give him two on the play. Alec Marty on the stop for the Chargers. Marty in at safety now for Dow High. I'm glad to see he's playing. He's a, he's a very good athlete, Alec Mar I, He is the next quarterback in waiting, and in a very has a great arm. Back to pass on third and long under heavy pressure and hauled down. That is Chase McNamara on the sack for the Chargers, and again nothing doing for Arthur Hill. I gotta believe. I don't even know if they have positive yardage so far. Uh, if they do, it's not much over. Fourth and 13, and it appears as if they're going to go for it. Unless they try that quick kick again. Yep, it is a quick kick. A high boot, and it takes a Dow High bounce down at the 45. And so Dow High will take over in Arthur Hill territory. And uh, boy, that Arthur Hill defense already, we're in the first quarter and they may be getting tired already. They're dead. Well, they have a lot of players going both ways. So, and you know what? You never get tired on offense. You know, it's like a, it's like a, a boxing match. You never get tired of hitting the other guy. <laughs> you only get tired of being hit. hit. <laughs> you know, so, and this is exactly what Dow does. They put that pedal to the metal. They're playing at a fast pace. Arthur Hill has a lot of two-way players. Miller back to pass. Up the middle and it's intercepted. Picked off by Arthur Hill. The first positive play for the Lumberjacks. Jamar Hardy 
with the the interception. Uh, Miller tried to find Caleb Richard on the post pattern. Uh, I don't think he saw Hardy, uh, the safety, standing there. Arthur Hill sitting in that zone. If you notice, they've spread out a little bit more. Now they only now they're really trying to drop some some players back. And you'll see he's sitting right in the center of the field, playing center field. If you overthrow the ball, he's going to catch it. Miller just there's didn't. A I lot don't think he of, saw him there. There's a lot of space in between the linebackers and the safety. And so Arthur Hill will take over on their own 42, just looking for something positive to happen. Henderson back to pass under pressure. It's like you make tuck it under. No, he goes deep, and he's got his man. Big play for Arthur Hill all the way down to the 21 yard line. It's Anthony DeLaban. And so two big plays in a row for Arthur Hill. So just as we were kind of almost uh, right. writing them off a little bit. This is the one thing you gotta watch out for, allowing the, the secondary to get behind. He, he released, he's, out of, he's out of phase and there he is. He lo they've lost him. They almost thought they uh, came up to the run. Yeah, came up to the, the run. run thought Henderson was going to take off, and uh, just that momentary lapse. You no know, receiver was open. And he's going to the end zone, incomplete. Again, tried for Debar Delaban. You see, that there's a really good scheme by Arthur Hill. They they have good plan. Fred Townsend. Is, was the uh, head coach of the Saginaw indoor football team that, that had won two or three championships. And so what we're looking at is an indoor football yeah. concept here. And, and, and it works, it works. Second and 10, Arthur Hill desperately needs some points here. Down 17, nothing late in the first quarter. Oh man, what a great play. That, that was just blown up by Ryan Shannon, the Chargers, and uh, a big loss on the for outside. Shannon. Put a little pressure on him. You can see him, Shannon come off the outside there. And right there he comes in, Does is not fooled by the fake. Good job hanging on to him. Henderson tough to bring down, but uh, uh, persistent tackle by Shannon. A big play for the Charger defense. Now that brings up third and 16. Ball in 21. Henderson barking the signals. Back to pass. Looking downfield, he's under pressure. Scrambling, goes to the right. Still under pressure, he's gotta get rid of it. No, he's still on his feet. Still going as Henderson cuts back to the right. He's got the first down, drives all the way to the two. What a play by Eka Henderson. He had no chance to do anything and look a lot like Miller right all, there. Always remember, contain the quarterback. Now we're gonna watch it here. See how on the right-hand side, we're inside move there, right there. The inside move was death. The inside move contained the quarterback. Arm tackle. Uh, Wow, what Arm an tackle. Play. I mean, he, he is a very good athlete. You must contain him. You cannot let him run around you. So just like that, first and goal from the two. 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. Handoff, and it is blown up again on the run. Dauhai defensive front is uh, on those inside running plays. It's just uh, really blown up that offensive line. Matthew Molesky in on the stop for it out high. So second and goal. This is uh, almost a must score situation here. I'm sure they're going to let this clock run out. The closing seconds of the first quarter. It's like a free timeout to give them a chance to discuss what they want to do. And we will head to the second quarter. Dow High on top, 17 to nothing. Friends, this coverage of the HH Dow football game is being produced by MCT volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, come to the next orientation studio training class on the second Saturday in October 
That's October the 12th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. NCTV is also hosting two special Monday evening sessions on September 30 and November 4th beginning at 6.30. The cost is just $45, which includes the annual access user fee. Call 837-3474, as you can see on your screen, or come down to the MCTV studio in the lower level of the Grace A. Dow Memorial Library. You can learn, learn more about MCTV at www.midland-mi.org backslash MCTV. Or, and you can follow MCTV on Facebook. I don't know if you were aware of that, Coach, but you can follow <laughs> MCTV on Facebook. Really? Yes, you can. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be the first for when me. When you get home tonight, I want you that to go would, right there. That would be that'd a first, be first for me, yeah, sure. Are you one of those guys that has Facebook and has, like, one friend? I think I think Facebook has passed me by. <laughs> Just a fad, so what's the point of learning? Right, okay. right. All right, well, here we go. Starting the second quarter, Arthur Hill, second and goal from the two. I'm going to guess that uh, Eka Henderson is going to be heavily involved in this play here. Do you think uh, they may roll him out and see if he can make something happen? Well, they're in, a, they're in a little bit of a power formation, so they're using pretty well. Betty. I'm not buying it. He does hand it off, and uh, in for the touchdown. Yep, he called it. Yep, he did hand it. It was a power formation. formation. And the handoff went to Dante Thomas. And uh, just like that, uh, Arthur Hill converts a turnover and then a big play and then a huge scramble by Henderson into a touchdown. Arthur Hill will attempt the extra point here. Let me go for two here, I'm not sure. The way they're huddling it up, it, it appears like they're gonna run a play. And they are gonna go for two, it's the same power formation Henderson will carry it. Lobs to the end zone, and it's caught. Maybe a little bit of a push off there. But nevertheless, Darian Robinson hauls it in for two, and it is suddenly 17 to 8. Check out the replay here. That's the, uh, That's the touchdown. Boy, a close to. Kind of a late uh, grab a, by um, the fullback. Right, almost a uh, misplay. And then this is the extra point. And we will see a push off here. Yeah, he definitely got away with that one. Not much question there. No, there's, there's no. pretty good coverage by Gandy. You know what you can do when uh, you get the two-handed shove to the chest there. But nevertheless, it is 17-8. Arthur Hill will kick off. Robert Ellabrecht is back in deep for Dow High, one of the return men. And it will go to Ellabrecht. Very Fields good it at kick. the 16. Very good yeah, kick. Yeah, nice high. And a great coverage. Oh, Ellabrecht still on his feet. But he swarmed under. Great kick, great coverage by Arthur Hill. Give him credit. And uh, Dow High will take over inside the 20. We'll call it the 18. So we'll see if uh, Dow High will respond here. And has Arthur Hill ready to go? I mean, now have they gotten over the blitz and are they ready to play and see what's happening? You know, they made a lot of big plays on that drive. They did. They made a lot of big plays. We call them splash plays, you know, where you just, you make big plays when it counts. Shortens the drive when you make sure. play 30-yard Here's, 30 the, here's plays. the quad formation again. It's a pitch yeah. to Richard. A lot of blockers in front of him. On his feet, plows ahead. Nice job on first down. It's going to be Very close to the first. Good patient run yeah, by Richard Arthur right Hill there. did not respond to the quads. They are staying in their set defense and, and, and Dow kind of outmanned them. You know, the goal in football is always to get one more man. So you want to go three on two, two on one. In this case, it was four on two. Yeah, if they don't adjust to that one, that, that run right there will be there all night. 
Inside draw. handoff. Inside draw. And Richard uh, hauled down after about a four yard pickup. Well, let's call it three. Dante Thomas, the tackler for Arthur Hill. Good recovery there. Second and six from the 35. Miller is going to keep it. He's got first down all the way out to the 45. He's down. He just had room to run he there. Got, he took got, a shot. He got he got hit pretty good. He, he's in. Looks a little wobbly. Yeah, he's a little, they're going to take him out. Ooh, that and now we're going to get look we'll good. get a look at Alec Marty. I think he's all right, but he is down. Uh, he got he got quite a hit there. That's that's not a good kind of down right there. I didn't see if he took a blow to the head or got a knee when he went down. It's a very nice homecoming, homecoming crowd here. You look across, Arthur Hill has a smattering of fans, but a big Dow High contingent to watch their Chargers, and it's, uh, it's silent here right now, concerned about their quarterback. I will take a look at it right here. Here's Miller Quarterback making draw. a good move. And right here, he's going to get crushed. Oh, it's, it looks like his hit. head yeah. kind of got, kinda got, his neck got back. bent back. Yeah. But he's coming off on his own power. He'll take at least a play off as uh, Alec Marty will become the signal caller. Marty, 6'1", 175, junior. All Marty lacks is the experience. He, he's a good quarterback and, a, and an outstanding backup. He's only thrown, attempted three passes so far. It's that inside handoff to Richard again, and that is just uh, snuffed out. Tyler Sanders all over that play. That, that's, a good time, that's a good play once. I mean, you get one of those a game. You don't get more than one. <laughs> you got to, you know, it's got to be tempered and put at the right time. Find your spot. That's it. Second and 16. It's the pitch. It's going to be a reverse. And he's going back to pass. He's got Mike Robb. He caught it. A little razzle-dazzle. Travis McNally on the double reverse pass. Lofts it down and... The 6-6, Mike Robb hauls it in. Big first down for Dow High, down to the 30. I was about to say it seemed like momentum maybe shifting a little in Arthur Hill's favor, and that uh, big trick play uh, gives Dow new life again. At the Arthur Hill 30-yard line. Got to be a little demoralizing for Arthur Hill right there. Marty back to pass, rolls to the right, fires, got his man. It's going to be a first down. Mason Hayes with the reception. See, I really like Al ball. I really like Alec Marty. I really like him a lot. I think he's going to be quite the quarterback at some point. So first down Chargers. Hayes he's only had two receptions coming into the year, but uh, 37 yards a catch. He's been targeted a little bit more tonight. Hayes with the carry again. Finds some room on the outside. Got a nice block inside the Arthur Hill five. See again there, Dow had more green shirts out there than Arthur Hill. Arthur Hill is so spread out, playing a three deep zone now and two under. So f their five defenders are, are spread out and that run works. Well, you know what it if seems you, if like? you got to block Jones though. They have a base defense, but Dow is running so many different looks and things at him. It's just hard to keep up or hard to know what is coming next. Marty, the ball carrier, drives ahead, touchdown Chargers. So coming in for Miller and Marty drives the Chargers down for another touchdown. So Dow Height does respond to Arthur Hill's score. 
Excellent run by Marty. Marty's first touchdown of the season. It's now 23 to eight, just under 10 minutes to go in the second quarter. Oh, it, it's a two point conversion attempt. Marty dives in, he's got it. And so Arthur Hill had converted on their two point conversion. They caught the Lumberjacks napping and Marty Scoots ahead for the two-point conversion, 25-8, to eight Chargers. All right, I like that. I like the effort, but remember, we only have two quarterbacks. <laughs> right. You know, we only have two. You've got to protect that guy. I mean, he can't be running, you know, a two-point play when you have a <laughs> when you have an outstanding kicker. You see what I mean? Yeah, right. You don't have to run that quarterback unless we're, we're all set. I mean, it was a good play, but watch the hit at the end of the play. This is the touchdown. Similar to the conversion, he right. just kind of found some he finds a crease. The seam, he runs in pretty good. Dow High faithful, loving what they're seeing. This is an explosive football team on display, and they are definitely clicking tonight. Josh Reitma, the He's the JV quarterback having a great year at the JVs. They may have I'll to suit him up here at halftime if, uh, <laughs> if they might have to happen. Kid with the kickoff. Long down the way down. Almost up in the end zone, but uh, run out. Outstanding. Great look, coverage look at that again. Coverage. Excellent coverage. Excellent coverage. Great job by Justin Cook on the coverage. He's a sophomore. And uh, DeBar DeLaban had a head of steam, and uh, but Cook would have nothing to, said nothing, to, you're not going any farther. And so they'll take over at the 17 yard line. It, see, it feels different. If Dow gets it on the 17, maybe not a big problem. When Arthur Hill is a 17, that's a long way to go for their See, offense. See, that's a pedal to the metal offense. You know, you just don't care where you get it, just let's just get it. Let's <laughs> just get it and just go. Just get it and go. Four receivers for Arthur Hill, and the pass is complete, but excellent coverage by Caleb Gandy. Ball hauled in by Darian Robinson, but uh, he's only going to pick up maybe a yard and a half. Great job by Gandy right there. Excellent. Dow's defense is flying tonight. See, sometimes I think a game like Mount Pleasant, it kind of wakes you up a little bit, makes you play better. You elevate your game. Now you recognize, okay, this is what we have to do. And remember, the, the goal was to get the six wins. Right. You know, that to get to the playoffs and then get your team set for that idea. There's only one Court. state champion. And he never is 9-0. <laughs> He's always got to be 13-0 right. or something like that. Quarterback keeper out to the 20. And five, Connor Doyle now Aren't you in the lineup. with uh, Dow's team speed? Oh, absolutely. It looks like they're moving at a, a you know, they, they're running to the ball. Their offense is moving to the ball. Their, their offensive line is doing an adequate job of protecting the, the linebackers in secondary look very athletic. They do. Third and long. Henderson back to pass. The ball's tipped. Ball's incomplete. Try to find James Christian, but it'll bring up fourth and long. And boy, it's just tough for the for Townsend. He knows. He, it's just tough giving the ball up to that Charger offense, but it uh, be mighty risky now, to go for it here. If, if they go into that uh, quick kick mode, I just would send guys right up the middle. It's fourth down. They're in it right now. Yep. Just do a middle stunt because he can't kick it. He's not deep enough. See, right now, that, that kick should be blocked. That kick should be blocked right now. All you have to do is just send guys right up what we call the A-gap. That's either side of the center. Just just pour them into that A-gap. And there's no way you can, you, you are not gonna get the kickoff. 
Matter of fact, that, you're going to get a handoff. <laughs> now a more traditional punt formation for Arthur Hill. Usually you may, you see a quick kick once or twice a season maybe. We've seen it about three times already. It kind of loses yeah. its uh, element yeah, of surprise. It, it, you're not there. surprised any longer. McNally, nice punt. Very nice punt. Received. Oh, what a return. It was uh, brought in by Hayes, and he started up the middle. And Dow High is, again, in great field position. So here's an example, Mason Hayes. And I, and I look at Mason, I've been watching Mason for four games now, and I am just so impressed with his quickness. I mean, he, and he's not a fast guy, but he's a he's quick, and he can run. Well, he's having a, an excellent game, and statistically, he gets overshadowed by some of the other exactly. guys. But you look exactly. at him, you say he's a, an impressive football player. Right, and when you throw the ball to him, he catches it. Then he knows what to do after he catches it. It's still a Marty at quarterback. He's going to scramble, haul down. Tyler Sanders on the stop. Marty is going to be, uh, we're going to call it no game. It'll be second and ten. We probably won't see Miller uh, the rest of the half. He went into the locker room with the trainers. Well, there's a comfortable lead here. Exactly. Why, why risk it? And, and Marty has and Marty uh, is good enough shown to, to be, be right. efficient on that first drive, and that's for sure. Truth, Marty should be a quarterback right now. He needs the work. You just can't make it in this kind of an offense with... Quick pass to Rob. Look at that. Again, up Look. the middle. It shows some nice speed. I'm telling you, Rob is 6'6". Six, six. He's a future star. He is a future star. And so first down, Chargers. Nicely thrown ball by Marty right there. That's just another twist that Arthur Hill has to contend with. They haven't thrown that quick slant to Rob. And all of a sudden, now they have to worry about that, too. Inside handoff to Richard. Good job Good again job by, by Jones. Josh Jones. He's that kind of consistent force on defense for them. They went try that play, maybe go to the other side away from him. It'll be second and 11 from the 16. And I believe Arthur Hill called timeout before the snap. He did. 6.34 remaining here in the second quarter. Dow High on top, 25 to eight. And this just has the makings of, uh, they've racked up a lot of points this year and they may be adding to that average. And looking back, coach, at some of the recent years on point scoring, I mentioned last year they scored 176, had one sitting at 200 this year exactly. And if you go back to previous years, um, that outscores every season back to 07, except that uh, 2010 team, that terrific team they had, they put up 341. That's where the Brandon that Sklenar was, was the that uh, was quarterback. That was for the year. That for the year, including, including playoffs. playoffs. Right. So we're only in the fifth game. Right, and we're at 200 points. And we've got some pretty soft touches coming up. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Brandon Sklenar, we mentioned, he's starting quarterback down at Denison in Ohio, Division three school. He's he was a, a very junior. good quarterback. Very good quarterback. Excellent. And actually, he's having a All right, now here we year. are in that, that quad again. And so now you have four, four, four receivers. Uh, you're not going to try to bring a guy over. Four receivers on one, two defenders. And Arthur Hill jumps off sides. It's going to. Actually, that was the best move Arthur Hill could have made because they're going to make an adjustment. Uh, hopefully, if you're coaching Arthur Hill, you got to get some bodies over there. Yeah, they had four receivers and three guys over there. Well, actually, one and a half. The other guy was playing oh. safety in the middle. So when you get into that quad, they're going to go everywhere. So you can't. You can't man it up. You have to zone it up, but you got to have four zones to cover. Yeah, there's four receivers out to the right, and there's 
two white jerseys. Now, they see what I mean? Something about doesn't add up. They're all open. Marty, under duress. Oh, he slammed down this time. Couldn't get away from Lawrence Gordon. Big fella, 6'3", 245, only a sophomore. And that'll bring up a third and 14. Well, the 19, got to get down to the 10. You got to block up front long to enough for him, long enough for that pattern to establish itself. Here's the quads again. It's there. There's no question it's there. Just block long enough to keep him open. Swing pass to Richard. Eludes one tackler down the right sideline. Run out of bounds by Henderson. And now here's a tough call. Do you go for the field goal or do you... Yep, they're going to go for the field goal. To me, it's not a tough call. I, I've seen Max Kidd kick, and this is uh, I well within his range. Yeah, I don't think it's a tough call either. Just no. keep racking up the points. The more you add on, the more demoralizing it is for Arthur Hill, and you have a, a good kicker, plus it gives him uh, just some game, more game experience. It could come exactly. down the line where he's got to make a big kick. Make, exactly. He needs to make a field goal to either win the game or tie the game. It's going to be a 29-yard attempt for Kidd. Good snap and hold. It's a line drive that is good. good. Plenty of distance. Uh, probably a little lower than he would have liked, but nevertheless, it's three more points for the Chargers that make it 28-8. to eight. See, that, that was a double field goal because it went right through the arms of Josh Jones <laughs> and went through the goal post. He jumped up into the air, okay, and he, the ball went right through his arms and then went through the goal post. And so we, he should get six points. And when Josh Jones jumps, he is about he, the size of the goal post. As I say, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, that was funny that you mentioned uh, your a little dubious of that 6-5 there. I'm real we had that same conversation last week. We were not buying it. Well, if he's 6-5, then everybody else in that defensive <laughs> line is 5-1. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so when, when uh, basketball season, I'm going to look at their roster and see what they list him as in basketball season. I'm telling you, it's not going to be 6-5. All right, well, here we go. Max Kidd's been a, well, I'm looking a down busy there guy and, tonight. And the only thing 6'5 about him is his feet. Because <laughs> there. <laughs> all right, Kidd with yet another kickoff. Hi, and all the way down to the two yard line. Another nice kick. This time, a better return for Dow High before he is smacked down. That looked like it was. Uh, can't quite see on the tackle. I think that's uh, uh, Brian Corbet on the special teams tackle for Dow High. Well, Arthur Hill has 535 to get on the board. So if they get on the board and, that's, and that makes it 14, 28-14, that becomes a little bit more manageable game going into halftime. If they don't get on the board and Dow gets the ball back, does get on the board, then, as I said before, we're probably going to look at running clock yeah, in the yep. second half at some point. Because it gets to be a point where you just lose your will. Exactly. And so here we go. Eka Henderson. The quarterback, he's capable of making big plays as he has shown already. Quick handoff, there's a hole this time. Good power run by Tyree Moore. He's gonna get about eight on the play. Now there is, there's one of the few times in this half that I've seen Dow's defense get up, stand up and, and play catch as opposed to attack. I was gonna say, I'm, a rare time where the secondary had to make the tackle. Five minutes to go in the first half. Arthur Hill desperately needs something positive. Another quick hand up first down. Good strong run again, driving ahead out to the 45 yard line. So suddenly 
A couple of uh, off-tackle plays have found success for Arthur Hill. I think Kadao High probably expected them to open it up a little bit more here late in the half. But uh, Arthur Hill showing good patience. The line doing a good job this time, and uh, the running back more finding the seam. First and ten, Lumberjacks. Hand off again. Not this time. Not this time. Much better, much better play by the Dow interior down guys. Jacob Gloria. Get them stop. Middle of that line, Brian Beale, he's, he's five uh, eight two seventy. I'm sorry, 5'11", 270. And he, he's a pretty good player in there. Stays low. Back to pass. Oh, good block to save his quarterback. Throws downfield. Oh, through behind him. Great coverage on the play by Mason Hayes. Said Mason Hayes' name a lot tonight. He'll say it a lot. Try to make a play thrown out to his big receiver. Martell Hanley standing at 6-1. Under threw it a bit, and uh, it'll bring up a third and long. Got to believe Arthur Hill, if they don't make it here, is going to go for it. But we shall see. Do you think they would use Josh Jones on offense a little bit? A big target? I, I'm Unless surprised they catch, haven't. Maybe. I'm surprised they haven't. Arthur Hill is going to call timeout. I mean, a guy, a guy with that size spread way out is going to have to require you to put two people out there, one under and one over, just because they would throw short, efficient passes to him. Um, and if he gets downfield, it's a jump ball. I mean, right. to me, that's what I'm looking at. Unless he just can't Throw catch. The ball unless he can't catch. And if he can't catch, then maybe he won't be on the basketball roster. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Arthur Hill trying to come up with that play that Al High coaching staff, their defensive strategy. Jason Watkins has just done a tremendous job as the Dow High co uh, head coach in his tenure and obviously having a great year this year and uh, Keith Schulte, Phil Igib, John Streeter also on his staff. You have to remember those are th those three last three guys you mentioned are all head coaches or have been all head coaches and very successful had all taken their teams to the playoffs and and deep into the playoffs. Henderson rolling to the right. Fires downfield, it's short, but it's caught. Good job by James Christian coming back for the ball. The ball was underthrown, and Christian uh, got under it. It's going to be a first down, down to the 31. So Henderson running for his life there. Found his man downfield, and it'll be a first down. 3.52 to go in the first half. Again, I will say this, and you'll probably hear me say it again. If you don't contain him, he's going to complete passes. You gotta force him to stop and throw the ball. You gotta force him to stop because he's a threat running. So you, you 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 take away the dimension of run pass. Quick out. He's got a man open. Oh, he overthrew him. That would have picked up some positive yardage for sure. Yeah, because too he was, high and too hot for Darian Robinson. It was he was open and there was nobody around him. Good play call, but just the execution wasn't there. So it'll bring up second and 10 from the 31. Big play here for Arthur Hill, probably more so than Dow. Arthur Hill has got to have some life here going into the locker room at half. There's that handoff, little hole, good powerful run. Good defense again, that was uh, Loria. 
picks up uh, about three, third and seven for Arthur Hill. Now I sure would like to go into the locker room with a defensive stand here. Henderson calling out the signals. It's a, under pressure, now he tucks under to run. Cuts up nicely, it's gonna be very close to that first down marker. We may get a measurement here. Excellent job be scrambling. It's not a first down. It's going to be fourth down. Fourth and probably about a half a yard. And we'll probably see that that power formation. Do they have this their power formation personnel in there right now? I'm wondering. Nope, no, we're going to see. Lone setback. We're going to see the spread formation. Thomas, I think we're looking at a quarterback draw possibly here. Fourth and short. Quick out, and he overthrows him again. The play was there. And uh, Henderson just misses Robinson. That okay. would have that would have been first down yardage. Okay, that one right there, I would probably question a hundred thousand times because <laughs> I mean you got fourth and short. You get a touchdown here. You're still in the ball game. You want to drive down the field. Sure, okay, it's, a, you know, it's there. Okay, but it's not there because it's going to require you to throw the ball, catch the ball. One yard. If your team cannot get one yard, you need to go home. <laughs> you do. You just need to go home. Marty, back to pass. That ball is complete to Cook. Very About good defense. About a one-yard gain. Very good defense. It's still a victory, really, for Dow. With about oh, uh, just stop. over two minutes to go, yeah. Sure. I mean, Arthur Hill had a decent drive, sure. knocked on the door, but uh, he just killed so much clock. And, uh, you, you know, Dow still, they'll probably play it conservative here with his big 20-point lead. But uh, if they wanted, they could try some quick strikes here to get some yardage, maybe set up for a field goal. Marty, he pitches it to Richard, tries to cut back. Oh, nice run. No, oh, great block. And uh, he's still on his feet as Richard, he's gonna get the first down. A great block by Mason Hayes. It's a, a terrific run. Uh, Caleb Richard cut back to find some green, and then the block Caleb allowed him Richard, to get the first down. He has got, he's got it. He knows exactly where to go. Watch this. This is way out there. And he's caught. He cuts back against the green. He gets a, a block up front. Another block out on the perimeter right there. Uh, you got to love Dow's wideouts blocking. This is a handoff there. Goes nowhere. Travis McNally on the carry and uh, he's wrapped up immediately by Kalen Young. Dow High will call timeout here. 121 remaining in the half. He's probably just uh, saying, guys, hey, just make sure we make no mistakes here. But we have uh, second and 13 for Dow High. Really statistically, uh, coming into this game, um, Arthur Hill has, had shown some pretty good defensive numbers. Uh, had well, given up uh, only 97 points. They were actually the, uh, number the one in the league in the yards allowed. And they're, yeah, they're the top defensive team in the league, and they're third in offense. Now, again, let, let, let me say this that the three teams that they defeated were awful. Yeah. I mean, they just were not very good football teams. And so, I mean, Goodrich, which is a Division Five team, uh, Southwestern, which is a Division Four team, <laughs> Bay and Bay City Western, which is really having a, a terrible down year. Mm -hmm. Back to passes, Marty batted down. Here's our man uh, Jones. He's a tough guy to get it over. 
can see in the background the Dow High, the Doughboy mascot, and a big student section crowd out cheering on their Chargers. 117 to go here, third and long for Dow High. I wonder if they would just try to run some clock, but you just feel this offense is more geared Again, to Again, quads pedal to the middle. Quads to the field. Four on two and a half. Looking downfield, and it is incomplete. In, in, there's the oh, flag. A late flag. Yeah, it, the Dow receiver ran into the Arthur Hill defender, but it is still a penalty. Yeah, it is. Not crazy about it because you're. It's almost like the defender can't do much about no, that one. But it is interference. Here comes the replay on it, and you'll see where we're at here. Again, we got the four on two, and there's the crossing pattern, which is good. And now they're going to be open, and here he's going to run right into them right there. It's a penalty because he just didn't he, know where he, he was. And he put his hands up, yep. and he put his hands into the receiver. He did impede his progress, so it'll be first down, Dow High. Trying to tack on some more points. Ball out to the 47 yard line. 112 remaining in the half. That's a hill just can't allow Dow to score. Dow Again, does for you. Empty backfield, five receivers, three on the right, two on the two on the left. Marty looking downfield, he's got all day. Now the pocket breaks down, there's a flag out. I think it's gonna be a hold. Fold. Did not, could not find an open receiver downfield. Well, the line held up for a while there, but uh, then uh, eventually it's- Appreciate this, give it up. maybe the setup was wrong. You had trips to the very short side of the field and twins to the wide side of the field. So your concept may have just been reversed a little bit. May have been an incorrect call in, or you may not recognize where you're at, but you try to get trips to the field with three receivers to the field and two into the boundary. Just run out of space with that many exactly. guys to the short side. Exactly. So you go to the wide side, and they got they, it, now you're two on two on the wide side. Marty back to pass. A little swing pass to Richard. Got a nice block out there. Still on his feet out to the 40. Well short of the first. Dow High is going to call another timeout. 50 seconds remaining in the half. It's going to be second and 17 for Dow High as they try to drum up the play call. You can see the Charger marching band getting ready for their halftime performance. Big homecoming night. Oh, yeah. Very, very big crowd. It's great to see and, this crowd. Oh, here. yeah, it is. Sad to see the crowd across the way, though. At Definitely. One time, at, at one time, that was a, a somewhat of a packed house. There, I don't think there's 100 people over there, and some of them may be down high people because the, the, the home side is full. A lot of people standing up at the top of the, the bleachers, as you normally see, but... Uh, just a, a great crowd, and this crowd has been treated to a another terrific performance by their Dow High team. Dow High three and one on the year, two and one in the Saginaw Valley League. Like you mentioned uh, their lone loss last week to a strong Mount Pleasant team in a game really that could have gone either way. Exactly. See, yeah. I honestly believe that if Dow gets by Arthur Hill tonight, they're most probably going to be seven and one going into the last game. So yeah, that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great end of the season. Oh, absolutely. Already looking forward oh, to that. Oh, yeah. You always well, look we always forward. do. Yeah, we, yeah, all, no we love what. that game. Oh, yeah. So here we go, second and long. Marty at quarterback. Looking downfield. He's under pressure again. And he's thrown down once again. Loses the ball, but he was down. And uh, sacked by Kalen Young. And this time that Charger offense is... Going the wrong going way. backwards. Well, this is the point right here where you let Might the clock let the, run yeah, out. Definitely. Let the clock run out. Regroup a little bit. See what's going on. Third and 28. Might as well just uh, 
be happy with that 20 point lead firmly in command. This is where you don't want to make a mistake. Oh, the hook and ladder to Richard. Still trying a little razzle dazzle. Going to be 15 and one more play. Face mask. They, did they uh, throw the flag yeah. in there? Yeah. Yeah, another 15. Wow. Okay, so here's much for running out the clock. Here's your little bit of hook and ladder. Nice little play. McNally pitches okay. it to Richard, who uh, gets hauled out of bounds by the face mask. So now Hyde's going to get a chance to uh, get a shot at the end zone for sure here on the last play. We'll probably get to see uh, Marty's arm strength here. Because 3.8, really, you have time for one play. I'm going to bet you see a screen. I'm going to bet a screen right here. Double screen, maybe? Something in, something in the screen variety. Uh, and to tell you the truth, I'm going to get the ball in the hands of either McNally or Richard. McNally out to the left in the slot. See, they got them all backed off. See how deep everybody is? They got a four front. See if somebody can make a play. Yeah. And try just try to get in the end zone with a lot of bodies. Mason Hayes in the right slot. Mike Robb out, split out far to the right. And looks like Cook is going to line up out in the flanker position. Richard in the backfield. Now Cook goes out just a little bit more into the slot. Now Dow will call timeout. Might as well. They looked a little bit confused on what exactly they were going to do. Well, just like I've always said, might as well use them. They're going home with them. <laughs> yeah, you're not. You, you get you get a certain number per half, three for half, and you might as well use it. If in the situation like this, you've already committed to not run out the clock, so you're committing yourself to score. So you might as well do the best opportunity you can. Use the timeout, make sure there are no mistakes, and tell the quarterback, do not throw in the flat on a, you know, at this point. It's got to be down the field. Or you run the screen. Or run the screen. If you, throw in the, if you throw in the flat in this situation and they catch it, run it into the end zone, now you got a situation where they go in happy. You don't want them to go in happy. The one play that seems maybe in the repertoire that they haven't shown yet is when they have those four wideouts just kind of run a bubble screen out there if you have uh, uh, say Hayes take a step back throw it to him you have three blockers right in front of him it's a possibility but they're going back to that uh, formation they had before the timeout three receivers out to the right and McNally here on the short side now there's Richard the goes in motion now they're this in is a setting quad. up the screen well, they're looking downfield, and it's caught. Oh, incomplete. McNally had it for a second, and then he got hit by Jamar Hardy. Hit hard. He's shaking up a bit, just unable to uh, hang on. I don't think it would have been a touchdown anyway. But uh, hopefully McNally is okay. He's walking very gingerly into the locker room, but he'll have all half here to recover, and it's a uh, nice throw. It was Very a nice, nice throw. throw. Good plan. Remember, I said get it. Get you have to throw the ball down the field, so they've got them one on one. They got McNally run on one with uh, their defender, and it was a very good Boy, throw right on the money. And that was a very good play right there by the defender. Definitely. So yeah, it, it wouldn't have been a touchdown if you'd hung no. on. But uh, well, we'll head into the halftime locker room. With uh, the score at high 28, Arthur Hill 8. Hello, we're here. And that was the homecoming halftime festivities for Dow High. Always a great festive occasion. And uh, that homecoming event always kind of rallies the school together, Coach. It's always a, just a great day. And uh, so as we wrap that up and wait for the teams to come out, we're going to check out some of the highlights from the first half. 
Many of them going Dow's way naturally. Here's the first touchdown. Pretty nice little play right there and a sweep by McNally. He gets up into the end zone. And you know, you got, I love the way Dow guys, you know, they run with a, with speed and reckless abandon. This is running a field downhill. goal here. Max Kidd. Max Kidd is a weapon that they have in their kicking game for sure. Hasn't had a punt yet today. See the elusiveness right there. That is the key, right? In there, that interception by Arthur Hill. And it, it, that, that was a big drive stopper. But the thing is, and this is where Marty is, is a little bit slower on the gun than Miller is. And Miller is so elusive. This is that long pass for Arthur Hill, which really set up their first score. Right. He's got they behind the defense. Got behind him, and the safety didn't get over. So you get into that. And this is where uh, Eka Henderson just shows his uh, tremendous athletic ability. Oh, no, that was the sack. That was the sack. Take right that back. Um, this is a This long, is the run. This is the run right here. Beautiful run around the corner. He had nowhere to go, and he just made a big play out of nothing. All the way down to the two-yard line. And that got them into the ability to get into the end zone. And this is uh, another Arthur Hill touchdown here. Or that was the touchdown, was excuse the touchdown. me. After that, we just got into the second quarter right there. And the two-point conversion was good for Arthur Hill. And this is the big play. This is Miller, uh, where I believe he has a, a slight concussion was the uh, the issue with him. And so hopefully, hopefully he will be be okay. I doubt that we'll see him uh, the rest of this contest. We will not see him. When he he's reacts standing, like that, you just worry he's about standing concussion. standing on the sideline with his helmet off Ed, during warm-ups. This is a nice play here. This is McNally throwing the pass deep to Rob. And, uh, you know, he's a 6'6 receiver who can catch and run. And this is Marty's run into the end zone. It's what he does very well. Marty is, has excellent size, he's six one and a half, and this is uh, kids field goal, and uh, as I say, it's worth six points. <laughs> yes. Now let's talk about Arthur Hill a little bit and understand that Arthur Hill uh, Henderson in the first half was six of thirteen for seventy eight yards and ran for fourteen more. But a more interesting fact that we now understand that Arthur Hill has six players that were suspended either for one quarter or two quarters of this game. Now we saw a, a different Arthur Hill team in the second quarter. Now that, that really was a different Arthur Hill team. Right. Because they had players that now who had been suspended. And, and also, you know, right now we know that they're leading rusher. Uh, is being disciplined. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Arthur Hill is doing uh, yeoman work with uh, with really some second teamers. Short roster. And yeah. now we'll see what happens uh, in the second half. But the most important thing, and this is this is for Dow, and that is they must continue to put the pedal to the metal because they cannot allow Arthur Hill to drive down the field and now get into that two touchdown or even one touchdown separation. Now, last week against Midland, Arthur Hill played Midland very tough for the first right. half. Yep. And, yep. And then in the second half, Midland just ran away from him. So now we're looking at a uh, uh, maybe an endurance right. yep. problem. But if you didn't play the first half, that's you know, true. If you're a starter. What do you, you, what do you, you didn't play the first half, then you're you not can't tired. Be too tired. Yeah. yeah, you're not tired. So it'll be an interesting uh, situation. I do not know. Who it was that is, is off, but uh, it's not any of their um, prime, other the than skill uh, players. Other than Sylvester Lawson, it's not any of their prime players. Yeah, that's definitely what happened last. Uh, it was a good first half, and they ran out of gas, and uh, Midland took it to them. And so uh, now, obviously, dominating this first half, and we'll just see if uh, it's more of the same in the second or if Arthur Hill has. This, is able to respond here. They will get the ball first. 
Remember Dow High uh, took the opening kickoff, marched decisively down the field and scored really in the first minute of play. And it was almost all Chargers the rest of that half. And so now Dow High will kick off this half and uh, we'll see if uh, Arthur Hill can muster any offense. Well, here's some interesting stats from the first half. Uh, Brent Miller was four of nine for 108 yards interception and ran for 70 yards in the touchdown. Alec Marty was six of seven for 65 yards. Uh, Caleb Richard ran the ball 10 times at 41 yards and had three receptions for another 47 yards. So he's on track for another 100 to 200 mm -hmm. yard night. Uh, McNally was uh, three receptions for 67 yards and one long touchdown or one long uh, throw. So here we go. Kids kickoff will be caught in, in the, the end, end zone. zone. And uh, wow, on the reception, uh, DeBarta Laban looked like he twisted an ankle or maybe a knee. Came down funny when he caught the kickoff. And that is that is one of their weapons right there. You better believe it. So that would be a significant blow to Arthur Hill if, if uh, he's not able to return. Well, he's moving a little bit better, but He's going to be out for at least a series. Here we go with the Dow High Charger defense. Remember, we wondered if Richard would be uh, playing today. He's playing offensively, but uh, not really uh, seeing action on defense. Instead, it's uh, Connor Doyle in his place. Henderson, ball carrier, cuts up. Again, we cannot allow him to get outside. Good and hard that's run. exactly what happened right there. Good hard run. He's going to pick up about nine on the play. You can call it short of the first down. It's a, it has to be a first down. <laughs> Started on the 20, yeah, it's on the 30. Yeah, it has to be a so. first down. That's why I hesitate, a little confused there, but uh, it will be first and 10 right at the 30. Handoff off to the left side, another nice gain. McNally finally brings down more. They've uh, had a little success running off just off the left tackle right there. This time, instead of continuing the left, he cut back to the right and was able to pick up nine yards. Well, last week, second half, Mount Pleasant decided to run the football. I have a feeling Arthur Hill has decided to run the football and see if they can loosen up those defenders. Well, two uh, successful plays in succession here for Arthur Hill to start the half. Henderson calling up the signals again. It's a quarterback draw. Got the first down, darts ahead, still on his feet. He's gonna pick up six yards, very shifty. He's got those quick feet and he's always looking up ahead for some open space. An elusive ball carrier is Henderson. Henderson has uh, 360 yards rushing coming into the to this game, 6.5 yards per carry. You can see why, because he's a big play threat. Just get the sense he could break one loose at any time. Off the left tackle, this time nothing doing. Good job by Chase McNamara to haul down Moore after about a one yard pickup. Moore, Moore ran into, the, the problem with Moore is that he's fast. <laughs> yeah. But he's not shifty. I mean, he doesn't actually see the hole. But if he gets into the hole, clear, he's going to run. But every one of his plays, he's run into somebody, whether it's his own player or a Dow tackler. Doesn't quite have the same no. patience like uh, like Richard has right. to see the play develop or and Henderson. then make it happen. That time the quick out is there. Oh, nicely done. Great play by Caleb Gandy. That that play looked like it could have a big Caleb, game potential. But Caleb Gandy, Gandy doesn't it. make the tackle. Richards, I mean, Richards is still running. It was a 
Robinson on the reception. Yeah. He ends up picking up three. But uh, yeah, Gandy just caught him by the ankle and he went down. Um, so a huge play by Gandy there. How much patience will they'll have here? Because really, they could run two plays. Third and seven from the 48. Henderson back to pass. Surveys the field, now he takes off. Out to the left side, corralled nicely. That was good contained by the tar Charger defense. Holds him to two yard pickup. We'll bring up fourth and five. But see, the way I see it is, the moment Arthur Hill crosses their own 40, they're in four down territory. I mean, they're just, they're not gonna punt. Why? Why? Yeah, exactly, why punt? It seems like with the Dow High offense, um, any field position is good field position. Right. <laughs> as long as they have the ball. As long as they have the ball. Dow High expecting that quick kick again. But I have a feeling they're, they're going to run the play this time. Exactly. Mason Hayes back deep. Looking downfield, and he overshoots his intended receiver. Looking for Robinson. Threw into a lot of heavy traffic. That would have been a tough play Again, to complete. Again, in that situation right there, a, a middle stunt in the face of the quarterback, he's either going to kick it, he's going to run it, or he's going to throw somewhere for, and, and probably not sprint out because he needs to get rid of the ball fast. But that middle stunt, which Dow is not doing, is crucial at this point. Dow High will take over on downs. The ball just their side of the 50 yard line. Alec Marty is in at quarterback in place of Brennan Miller. Miller uh, took a shot to the head during the first half and uh, has not returned. I believe it's a slight concussion, but Marty's done a good job in his stead. Said six for seven so far. Flag of the play. Movement down. He said Marty throws a nice ball as well. So it'll be first and 15 for the Chargers. Offensive line, Thurston McNamara, Meyer, Wilford, and Veal done a great job tonight. Quick pass out to Richard. Hit hard, but not before he gets the penalty yardage back and more. Picks up about 10 yards on the play. That was a nice pass, nice it touch was. on the ball. He was Very able to catch pass. it at full speed. Yeah. The only thing Alex Marty lacks is experience in, in, in this offense. And obviously he's going to get some tonight, which is good for Dow. And off to Richard, finds a hole, still on his feet. Picks up the first down. Not before he gets all the way down to the 32. You gotta love Richard's running style. It's called a glide. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not powerful, but yet it is. It's not fast, and yet it is. It's a glide. He's just <laughs> gliding along, you know, and then all of a sudden you're saying, hey, that was 25 yards. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> How did that happen? You want, he just glides. Emmett Smith was kind of like that. Just found a way to get yardage. Swing pass out to, oh, good job defensively. McNally on the reception. Gonna pick up a couple of yards. And a penalty. You get the be a face, face mask? mask? Face mask. Well, I've done a lot of that tonight by Arthur Hill. Oh, oh no, it's holding. a hold. Arthur Hill was clapping. Wow. That's a surprise. I didn't think there was anybody out there blocking. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's tough to see from our vantage point.
But that'll bring the ball back to the 39-yard line. McNally in motion, quick handoff to Richard. Tries to spin away, but uh, unable to, to uh, elude the tackle of Moore. Second and long, 18 to be precise for Dow High. Two receivers split out left, that's Cook and McNally out here to the wide side at the bottom of your screen. Richard in motion. Marty looks downfield, got him, that's Rob. Straight up the middle, burst of speed by Mike Rob. It looked like he was gonna be sandwiched, but he just took off and went untouched into the end zone. I was wondering how long it was gonna take for Marty to throw the ball down the field. I mean, he's thrown a lot of flares and semi screens, but that was a down the field, perfect strike to Rob. Yeah, Rob caught it in stride and uh, did not slow down, just straight up the gut right to the post, and I don't think he was touched. It sure looked like Arthur Hill had an angle on him, but a good burst of speed by Rob. Kid with the extra point, gets it away, a booming kick is good. And just like that, 35 to eight, Dow high. And that's the way it is right now, Dow High. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. How you blink and it's just like that, 35 points. The, the unique thing about their offense is, you know, they get that five yard penalty or that holding and it sets you back, but you, you don't really feel like it's gonna slow anything down. Well, imagine this. Dow's, has the lowest number they've put up is 28. So as an, as a, here we go with the replay. And we're going to see this is it is is really a, that is the broken play. And this yep, is the player. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll see it here. We'll see it in a little bit. But one of the things that you always as a as a coach you turn to your defensive coaches and you say, "Well, just exactly how many points do I have to get tonight?" Well, if somebody turned to me and said, I have to get 30, you know, I'm going to say, oh, man, Ooh. this is going to be a long night. <laughs> you know, I, I'll never forget that I, we were playing a game in East Lansing and my defensive coach ran up to me and said, if you take a knee, three plays and punt, we can't lose. Because <laughs> he was that confident in our, in our defense. Right, well, right. If you go to your coach and you say, listen, you got to score 30, and in this case, you got to try 36, well, then you get yourself a long night. You a We're going to look at the replay here uh, for the touchdown, if we can bring it up. And here it is right here. This is a, the same action as before, and that opened up to safety. And watch Mike Robb just race in the middle of these guys. And that's a six-foot-six what looks like long stride sprinter. Yeah. Yep, impressive. He's going to be a football player. Impressive. And so, kids kickoff sailed into the end zone. And uh, Arthur Hill takes over in the 20. Dow High calls timeout here. You know, up until that touchdown, Arthur Hill was playing pretty good defense. And they've got some new bodies in there that we had talked about before. So, yeah, it's uh, but still, you got to tackle him. You got to tackle him. I think it, his uh, speed may have surprised them a little bit when uh, I think when it Rob surprised everybody. The ball. I think it surprised everybody. <laughs> Let's see the Dow High cheerleaders in action, leading on. An enthusiastic crowd here tonight. Dow High with a lot to cheer for. So we've got some uh, new players out for Dow High. Number 90, Chase Quencer is one number 90, excuse me. 
And he's playing on the defensive line. Also 62 Nolan hit on the defensive line. Eka Henderson back to pass. Looking downfield, throws it deep. He's got a man open, he's got him. So he hit the big play, beautifully thrown ball by Henderson, hits Jamar Hardy for a big play down to the 34. It's the end of the touchdown again, and we'll uh, take a look at that. Well, we'll try to, here we go, here we go with that replay. This is just a post pattern to Hardy. Henderson airs it out. It's kind of a flick of the wrist and hits his man. First and 10, Lumberjacks. Quick pass. Cuts up the middle. A nice gain on first down. That went to James Christian. Down to the 26 yard line. Picked up about eight yards on the play. Well, Arthur Hill's two. still going at it. I was going to say, if you were wondering if uh, Arthur Hill yeah. was going to cash it yeah. in, no, uh, they're not still yet. Going, they're still going at it. A couple big plays, and they're, they're you know one play away from getting back into Ken some Henderson semblance back of to play. Pass. And there's that. He's under heavy duress. Here he shows his speed. Cuts back out. Oh, and tripped up. Got a first down. Skyler Contardi tripped him up, or he may have headed to the end zone. Again, a shoestring tackle. But they will pick up the first down on the scrambling ability of Eka Henderson. He, he's very shifty. He makes a little move to the inside, and you break to that move, and then he's already around you. So Arthur Hill trying desperately to put some points on the board. Henderson looking downfield, still nobody. Good coverage, he takes off. Scrambles, good contain that time for the charge. He is able to dive ahead for a uh, bit of a pickup. But uh, good job defensively there by the Chargers. Good coverage, That's a, that was a coverage tackle. All on the 21, he picked up a couple. It'll be second and eight. Well, in these little spurts, you can see where Arthur Hill has great athletes and why they can be three and one. 441 remaining in the third quarter. Henderson looks to the end zone. Touchdown, Arthur Hill. Beautifully thrown ball. Again, finding Jamar Hardy. Dowhai just about breaking it yeah, up, but uh, had just over. enough on the throw to complete the touchdown. <laughs> Anderson's got some ability back there at quarterback. So 35-14, now Arthur Hill will go for two. That was an excellent pass that could either have been knocked down or intercepted. Yep. Safety just jumped a little too soon. Two receivers to the left, two to the right on this two point conversion attempt. Flag on the play, scrambling around looking for somebody open, throws it, and it's another flag on the play. These penalties are probably going to offset now. Might just kind of threw it up for grabs, but why not? Let's see if something positive can happen. The officials discussing how to administer the penalties. There's a legal shift on Arthur Hill. Pass interference and Dale will offset and we'll try it again. It's almost like their best bet is uh, have a Henderson scramble around and until somebody gets open or he tucks it under and tries to run. 
That's exactly their best play. Allow him to maneuver enough to get people open. And he's got a nice quick flick of the wrist and the ball does travel. Quarterback's going to keep it, cuts up, and he is close, but I don't think he's going to make it. No, he doesn't. For a minute, it looked like he had a hole there, but the, there's a swarm of green. Held their ground at the goal line, and the score will remain 35-14. So 4.29 remaining in the half. So Delhi, uh, we'll get the ball again. Arthur Hill. Kind of has a look that they may do the onside kick here. Definitely a short run up by the kicker. Nope, he boots it away. And it will be fielded by the Chargers. Robert Ellibrack still on his feet. I was about to say he should have let it go out of bounds, but uh, he did a good job just scooting up the sidelines. And Ella Brack uh, will take it out to like near it. the 40. I like Ella Brack. I think he is down the road going to be a very good player for Dow. He, he just, he, you know, he's having a tough time with, you know, Caleb Richards, the running back. But if something was to happen where Caleb Richard uh, needed a break, Ella Brack is a very able replacement. He's got great feet, he's got quickness. He's a pretty good player. So I watched him at practice one day and went, who is that <laughs> who guy? Who is that guy? <laughs> is that guy? So he got it out to the 37. This is a Under quad center. bunch. It's a big power sweep to Richard. Boy, great defense though. And a flag on the play. Are they gonna, did he get the face mask? Looked like he tackled him low. Uh, maybe the second defender coming in got a piece of the face mask. I think it could be holding. First play, the Dow quarterback's been under center tonight. He's ran that quick power sweep to Richard, but an excellent job defensively for Arthur Hill. Dow actually lost about five yards on the play. And they're... Uh, Going to pick up the flag. After their confab on the field decided nothing was amiss. And so Dow will have it, uh, call it a four yard, uh, not five yard loss, we'll call it the second and 15. And after Richard. And he swarmed under. Good job defensively again by Arthur Hill. Now remember, Arthur Hill was the top defensive team right. in the league. And you've got to you've got to guess that the suspended players are now playing. <laughs> right. And as I say, the suspended players are fresh. So there's a whole flock of six guys with fresh legs. Those are different bodies in there than there were earlier. If you remember. Jones was a little taller than everybody. <laughs> He's not as tall right now as he was. Either he shrunk or some of those other guys are in there. And a bubble screen to Rob, but again, snuffed out. That was offense, went backwards on that drive. It'll be fourth down, it'll be Dow's first punt of the game. Max Kidd has been very busy as a uh, place kicker and a kickoff man, but uh, it's the first time we'll see him as the punter tonight. Next 
It's going to be interesting to see Max kick because he does have high elevation and quite the hang time. High snap. Corralled just kind of desperately trying to get rid of that one. And it's not going to get very far. Out to the 49 is all. It's hard to pin that one on the punter, though. He had to, had to jump bit. just to get control of the ball, and then you got to hurt, you're you're rush of, it. You're out of your out phase. Out You're yeah. out of phase. Yeah. So, Arthur Hill, if they uh, can score here, suddenly you'll have a ball game. 35-14, Dalhai's been in control this whole game. Arthur Hill with that nice drive, their previous possession. And great field to do it again. position right now. Henderson back to pass. Tucks it under, and this time he is sacked. It's gonna be a one yard loss. Good contain again by the Chargers. Austin See, Acker on the sack for Dow High. Okay, now that was one of the few times that I've seen Dow High stay in their rush lanes. If you can stay in your rush lanes and you can contain him on the outside, he, he's going to have, he has to have a little bit more time to throw the ball. But if you start getting out of your rush lanes and into somebody else's rush lane, it, this is a very important point that most people don't understand, and that is that as a defensive lineman, you have a rush lane. It's getting that rush lane. Don't get in somebody else's rush lane, and now the two of you are covering one lane. Interesting. A lot of time this time, guns it downfield. Oh, there's going to, I believe that'll be defensive holding. He was going deep, and uh, there was really no receiver there, but I believe he got tied up. See, in, in high secondary. school, you do not have that uncatchable ball rule. You interfere, you interfere. Yeah, it's pass interference, and it may have been uncatchable because he was held up. And so, it'll be turned into a big gain for Arthur Hill. First down. Yep, first down to the 35 yard line. So first in 10 for Arthur Hill. Quick out, that play's been successful. Again, a, a nice job on first down. McNamara finally bringing down Christian, but not after a nice gain. We just heard uh, unbelievable score over in Mount Pleasant here in the second half. Mount Pleasant 50, Midland High 42. Incredible <laughs> offensive outburst by those two teams. So second and two. We're in the final minute of the third quarter here at Midland Community Stadium. Spectacular fall night here. Ball thrown up for into the uh, on the out there. Henderson just kind of chucked it up, hoping his receiver Robinson could make a play. You can see our MCTV camera crew busy at work. John and Jim up there, and uh, doing a great job as they always do, bringing you this outstanding coverage. Great service to our community. And uh, also these guys uh, busy at work all night. Yeah, guys, give us a wave. Good job up there. This ought to be a, this is all going to be Henderson right here. He's looking for a place to run right now. What a nope. surprise. Off tackle. He gave it to Moore, yeah. And he's going to get the first down. That was a surprise. The off left tackle has, uh, they picked up some yards here, especially in the second half with that play. They do have some big bodies over there on that left side. Yeah, all of a sudden, the, the size factor came into play 
in the second half. We're seeing some different bodies. You mean like Charles Jackson, number 79, six foot, 255, like yeah. that? Same play again. Off, and he still on his feet all the way inside the 10. And uh, it, it was the, the left guard, Charles Jackson, is just uh, creating some huge holes for Arthur Hill. And uh, Moore is doing a great job of getting through him. And so just like that, it's first and goal from the seven for Dow, 20, or for Arthur Hill, excuse me. Clock's running with 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. Henderson keeps, looking for room. Squirts ahead, but then he's stopped. Good defensive play back there. I believe uh, Corbet in on the stop for Dow High. Or that might have been Caleb Richard actually back there on defense. He's going to be playing a, limited defense, but I think they can sense that Arthur Hill is moving the ball. Arthur here, Hill so is moving the ball easily. And so we're in. We are now completed three quarters here at Midland Community Stadium. It's the Dow High homecoming game. This is Dave Marsh and Frank Aldemore bringing you the action. As you mentioned you're watching this game on MPS TV 98 on Charter Communications in Midland. You can also find MPS TV under channel 99 on AT&T's U-verse. Game will be cablecast on several dates coming up, as you can see those on your screen. Plenty of opportunities to to watch this game. And it's a game that uh, Dow High has controlled, but right now you sense it's. Could be a pivotal moment in this game. Second and goal for Arthur Hill. They just scored in their previous possession. And if if they score here, it will be uh, really a two possession game. So um, Arthur game's Hill, certainly not over. Arthur Hill is moving with confidence right now. Earlier in the game, they weren't. This, is a, this is a different Arthur Hill team right now. And you kind of sense they feel that that uh, just that dive off the left side, they can gain yards anytime they run it. You kind of sense they, they feel that way. Henderson off to the right side, goes right in, dives ahead, touchdown Arthur Hill. This time they, they fake up the middle and Henderson keeps it around to the right side. Had good blocking out in front of him. And Arthur Hill is on the board. We'll take another look at this one. Receiver comes in motion from the short side. Henderson fakes up the middle, then and again then goes around the, short side the, to the corner. Right. You lose the contain, and the moment you lose the contain by the outside linebacker, it's over. So down by 15, Arthur will, Hill will. Go for two. They have that power set in the backfield. Now they go into the eye. A little bit of a different look here. Dow Heights jamming the box for sure. Henderson back to pass. He has his man drop. He had it, too much heat on it and threw it a little bit behind him. It would have been a very difficult reception for Hardy. And so the, the two-point conversion fails, but still Arthur Hill is within two scores, just like that. Two scores, the guy was open in the corner, uh, and Henderson did not see him. He had his eyes on the receiver he threw to all the way. He started to feel a little bit of pressure from Caleb Richard uh, coming on the blitz and uh, may have rushed it just a little bit. He had a lot of heat on the throw, and, and it was behind the intended receiver. And so now, Dalhai's offense is sputtered just a little bit here in the latter part of the third quarter. Had a good, long, good drive and a, and a quick strike to Mike Robb early on, but uh, the last couple drives have... Uh, not been successful. I'd be ready for an onside here. 
Caleb Gandy, number one. And Mason Hayes back deep to receive the kickoff. Dowd, Dowd is look, ready. They're Looks expecting, like they're expecting the onside. The onside kick. Just into the fourth quarter here in this ball game. Kicks it away. It will be Gandy at 13. Drops the ball, but he's able to pick it up. Eludes a tackler. Finally run out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Good job by Gandy recovering from the muff. Yes, very fortunate. Looting that one tackler allowed him to pick up a, about an extra 15 yards. And so, Kahai takes over on the 30. Looking to regain the momentum here in this game. And the crowd has quieted down. They're not used to having a possession where you don't score. That's right. The handoff goes to Hayes. And he fights ahead for one yard. So the Hayes may have been slightly shaken up. Slow to get up anyway. Kid was out uh, in the offense for that play. Come back to the sideline. Mike Robb, bottom of your screen, split out far to the right. Richard in motion. Kind of looked to the swing pass and said, run the post, and it is caught. What a catch. Great job by Justin Cook to hang on to the ball. The sophomore had it. He got belted, but was able to hold on to make the reception. You know, Dave, just to make a point earlier in the game, we're talking about suspended players. Uh, Arthur Hill's front now has a uh, defensive line of uh, 6'5", 205, 6'1", 240, 6'1", 230, and 6'2", 215. So You're saying that makes a difference? I'm saying that it's going to be a little harder to run the football. <laughs> That's a big wall to get through. Richard on the carry, drives ahead. Going to pick up about four yards on that first down carry. A little harder to move those bodies than it was in the first half. But they are into Arthur Hill territory now. Clock's running with 10-20 remaining in the fourth quarter. Marty in the shotgun. Pitches it out to Richard. Not much room to run that time. Strung out very well by the Lumberjacks. And they run out of bound by Terry Ramsey. It's just a little bit too slow. It's a play that, again, speed teams like Arthur Hill, uh, if, you, if you notice, Marty came down the line. He waited, he waited, he waited. Then he pitched the ball, and that allows all that flow to get there. Third and seven from the 49. This is this a big is a, play for us. It's a difficult team to run east and west on. You got to run north and south. Richard in motion to left. Looking downfield under pressure. Unloads wide open is Cook. Cuts back up the middle. Still on his feet is Cook. Drive ahead Excellent. all the way to Excellent. the 21 yard line. Wow, is that a great job by Marty? Under heavy pressure, we still had the presence of mind to survey the field and find Cook wide open on the left side. Watch this. It just kind of eludes right there. He's able to make the play happen. Great job by Cook to sit right there and wait. So, Dow High now knocking on the door at the 21. Richard takes the handoff. Darts up ahead for about two yards. Clock definitely an ally of the Chargers here. So we're 
approach the nine minute mark of the ball game. I would be happy to run several minutes off with this drive. Pitch goes out to McNally. Flag on the play. Scoots ahead for about three or four. That's when I think may be coming back. Right. Right in the middle of the field. Probable holding call here. And it is. And so that will cost the Chargers 10 yards. As they uh, assess the penalty, the scoring update, Saginaw Heritage 41, Bay City Western 7. Bay City Western's having a long year. They are. And it's gonna get longer. Second and 16 for Dow. Marty fakes the Statue of Liberty, goes down the middle, and it's intercepted. Hardy, and then he trips on the, oh man, trips on like the one yard line. He had room to run. That's the second interception by Hardy. Yeah, he same thing. He was just playing center field. Quarterback didn't see him lurking back there. Really he on the same play. Just kind of, yeah, just trying to. He throws it sooner. It's in, but he didn't. He tried to loft it in there. Big play. Also a tough break because he had some room to run. But now, uh, now it's down defense. That was defense needs to play rise. Better. Ball on the two gotta yard play line. Better. So a long way to go for Arthur Hill, but. Still, they're able to stop the Chargers. See if Dow High can make a big def defensive play here. Henderson tries to get a little breathing room. Maybe, maybe picks up a yard before he slammed down at the Charger front. Pretty much to say that Henderson is their whole offense. Uh, yeah, yep. No question. And you kind of feel some of the successful plays they have. They, you always have to have him as your num number right. one first target. Option. Yeah. He's the first option. Quick pass. Receiver trying to make something happen. He's only going to get up to about the eight or nine yard line. Good coverage. Excellent play by Caleb Gandy. He stayed out there long enough and kept the, the play alive till the... the other guys came over and gave him some help. Held him up and Contardi cleaned it up there. So it's a third and three situation here from the nine. If Dow uh, can stop him here and force a punt, all the interception essentially would do is kill some clock. Arthur Hill has to convert here if we're going to stay in this ball game. Henderson looking around. There's a flag on the play. Movement. I think the motion man may have uh, started forward prematurely. That's a big penalty right there. Instead of uh, 33 from the nine, it's going to. March it back to the five. I tell you, you know, that the interception was, was painful. And you were right, you know, if it doesn't make it, then they go. But what it did do was it took Dow out of the field goal. Right. And that, that took it, that would have made it three scores. Yeah. Yeah. And see if they hold it here, they'll get the ball back in good field position again. Back to pass is Henderson looking downfield. He's going deep, and it is caught. What a pass. That ball was on the money, and Darian Robinson hauls it in. It was actually pretty good coverage. Very good coverage. You can't throw a ball any better than that. Kind of looked like he just flung it out there, but hit his man in stride. The Dow defender bit, and when he bit, Robinson took off. Huge play for 
Arthur Hill. Henderson back to pass, going deep again. This time he overthrows Debar Delaban. Their uh, time is a factor, but they got away a little bit from that uh, off tackle play where they were able to loosen up the Dow High defense. Going to make some uh, big strikes here to move down the field. Second and ten, Arthur Hill. Let's pass again. Now he's under pressure. Caleb Richard with a huge sack. And Big defensive it. play. Exactly. You know, remember, remember I was telling you that A-gap stunt. You got to have the A-gap stunt to get somebody in the face of him. You got to get in his face. It doesn't do any good to come from the outside. But you got to get somebody up in his face. And you'll see it right here. This is Caleb coming on an inside. Right in the A-gap stunt. Runs right by the uh, blocker who is not very good and does a great job of, of, of tackling. But the A-gap stunt is crucial here. And somebody with speed that Henderson's unable to elude. To scramble away from. So third and long now. Henderson looking downfield under pressure again to flag in the play. And it is incomplete. They're going to call a hold. He was close to being sacked, and I think the Dow defender was... Basically tackled. Have Don't Ryan take it. Shannon. Don't take it. All right. Yeah, decline this one. That would bring up fourth and 18. Penalty is Under six minutes to go. Maybe a tough call, but Arthur almost has to go for it here. Arthur has to go for it. Because they'd have to stop now and still score twice. It just may not be enough time for that. They're going to call a timeout and talk it over. That's a good timeout. Sometimes you call a timeout to stop the clock, but also the game could be on the line here. You gotta, exactly. you got to dial up the, the play game, you need. The game is on the line right here. This is the play that the game is on the line. Because, you know, even with there's 552 left in the game, and you're still not comfortable if you're Dow high because Arthur Hill does have that big strike possibility. And Arthur, and Dow's defense has kind of stymied a little bit in the second half, quieted down. Mm -hmm. The pedal is not, the pedal is off the metal right. a little bit. Yes. You know, it's kind of like uh, running in second gear, mm -hmm. you know? You gotta do a little downshift at some point. <laughs> <laughs> so. So it also gives Dow High coaching staff a chance to uh, strategize with the defensive unit. Make sure you know where those sticks are. Arthur Hill has to get all the way to the 39 yard line. You wanna protect those, those sticks there. All you gotta do is hold them short of the 39. Okay. Five, five men in the secondary now for Dow. Henderson back to pass. He's going to get Caleb oh, Richard. Down by Caleb Richard again. Beautiful coverage downfield. Great rush by Caleb Richard. Perfect. Well, the, the difference on that rush we mentioned before is uh, uh, Henderson is speedy, but Richards just as speedy. He just can't run exactly. away from him. You got to get you got to get Richards on Henderson. Here comes Richardson right up the shoot. He's going to come around that corner. They're going to fan on him, and beautiful. Richards is Caleb a playmaker. Richard is a football player. He is a playmaker. He is a football player. Now each team is going to have two possessions each. So what you do in these two possessions is going to be interesting. All right, there's McNally. good little run by McNally. Here's nice a job. really good little run by McNally. Yeah, he just, I mean, it didn't look like much, and all of a sudden he turned it right up. He showed that nice burst yeah. of speed as well. That was got a, got a number of players that just have a little extra on their speed. For sure. 
Down to the 25 yard line. Dowd has a lot of weapons. There's no question about it. Clock is running, 521 remaining in the game. Dow can put the nail in the coffin right here on this drive. This time it is Hayes, the same play the other way. Not quite as successful, but still able to pick up a good six, six good. maybe seven yards. Clock killer. Clock killer. That's what we're doing. It's the clock killer. The second and four, you about notice, a six-yard game. I want you to notice that in the first quarter, Dow was already at the line, right. running a lot of plays. Now it's we're not so fast. Time's on your side here. And they have, uh, it'll be Richard and McNally in the backfield. And off goes to Richard. Jets his way, hangs onto the ball, breaks mm. one tackle, and then uh, gets to the 22. It's gonna be a little short of the first down. Hardy made a great tackle there. Solid tackle. Third and a long one. That was in great position here, even if they don't get the first. They do have an excellent field goal kicker. If they put any points on the board, it'll pretty much ice it because that would make it a three possession game. Tell the quarterback Marty doing a good job milking the clock as long as he can. This time he keeps it. He's got a big hole. Following lead blocker what in run. for the touchdown. Did a great job of what following a run. Nathan Thurston, the lead blocker. Good patience by Marty Thurston made the block. Marty went to the right. It's touchdown chargers. That was excellent. We, we saw Marty's running ability on his other touchdown that he had at the other end. And this is again, it, watch, watch the, 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 the reading of the block, the hesitation right there, get up into the shoot, the cut. The cut was beautiful. It was. He just uh, let the block happen, read the block, and uh, went the other way. Marty is the holder. Kick is up and good. And it is now 42 to 20 with 3.30 remaining. And uh, that may do it. I mean, we may change our tune if Arthur Hero would have re returned this for a touchdown or something, but Dow's shown well, great coverage. Well, as I said, each team's going to get two possessions, so Dow did something Scored with on their theirs. one possession. So even if Arthur Hill scores on both of their two possessions, it's they not enough. A, they They're going to be an onside kick somewhere in, the, right. in that equation. So you got to make two in the three. Yeah. Do you think kids' leg ever gets tired with all these kickoffs? Once again. He's kicked the ball off a lot. <laughs> kicks, he kicks off a lot, and he kicks a lot of extra points. <laughs> he does. I he mean, is. think about this. He had 21 extra points coming into this game, yeah. and he's got. Uh, the looks of that kickoff, his leg is not tired because no. he just drills another one into the end zone. So he's, he's now up to 27. Extra points and field goals. Impressive. Yeah, it is. It's impressive. So Arthur Hill will have to go 80 yards on this possession here. That's the weapon part when you can kick it into the end zone and they have to start on the 20. Yeah. It's a, that's the weapon part. Because your good return man doesn't have a chance to bring it at least reasonably right. field position. One or two more first downs the team has to get. Quick pitch. That ball is loose. 
and goes out of bounds. Tried to get a quick underhand pitch to Moore, but uh, that play did not work. Not a great pitch. So we just heard the final score of that barn burner in Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant 50, Midland High 42. Both Midland teams falling to the Oilers this year. 92 points in a game. That's unreal. That's a Midland Mount Pleasant game. That's more than a lot of basketball games. <laughs> yeah. Quick out. Good job by Gandy. He's solid out there. Yes, he is. He's had one falter. Oh, yeah. He, he kind of bit on a yeah. on a deep pass, and the, uh, the receiver went by him, and he recovered. But that was his, that's been his only. If that's the only thing you do wrong all night, it's okay. You've done a great job against these receivers. Yeah, and they try to get get the receivers out in space, and even when they hit him, he's uh, he's there to make the play. Two forty-four. The clock is running. Arthur Hill doesn't seem to be in a whole lot of hurry here. If they want any chance at all, they better start moving. We're trying to move. Chucks it downfield, and he's got his man. Well, still on his feet. Good, uh, strong battle by Debar Delaban. Another big strike. He's got some. Uh, Henderson's got some arm strength. <laughs> he just looks like he flicks it out there, but uh, he's got, he throws he's a he's nice got tone spiral. on the ball. There was a good stun up the middle. They picked up the stunt, and see there. To me, that's where a safety. You got to have a safety helping out over the top. That ball was up in the air for a long, long time. Hayes made the tackle. Finally, quick slant. And a good tackle by Contardi. That could have been a much bigger gain if Contardi hadn't brought down uh, Robinson. Pick up eight on the play. Two minutes to go now. Here's that pitch again. Again, it does not work. I think they may want to throw that play out of the playbook. Kind of the underhanded pitch and just uh, just tough to make work. Arthur Hill is able to recover it, but not before they go all the way back to the 49 or and, 39. And the clock is ticking. And the clock's running. You know, They're not the in a hurry at all running here. And we're just having a good old time running the play. I mean, there's a point here where you... There's a you know a sense of urgency. If you're going to get two, if you're going to get two more, if you're going to get a second possession after this one, then you got to get this one in the end zone. Yeah, that's why it's, it's almost like they're conceding it here. Henderson back to pass. Got the man over the middle. That's dropped. He threw it a little bit behind him. Williams had to spin around to try to haul it in. It was incomplete. It'll bring fourth and nine with just under a minute to go. Well, Coach, the uh, it's kind of have an odd feel to this game because Dow has been in control the whole time, but the exactly. second half has Which been you, competitive. It's very competitive second half. Like you half. said, if the, if the uh, those players had been out on the field the whole game, it might have been a different story. You know. Yeah, but you got. I don't think give, Dow would have lost. It doesn't, no, I don't feel either. that. I yeah, I get, I give a lot of credit to Alex Marty. He's come in here, you know, not playing very much earlier, and just did a heck of a job directing the team in the second half. Another Go tremendous ahead. athletic play by uh, Henderson, scrambling around. It cost him about 15 seconds on the clock, but was able to pick up the first down. But yeah, Marty, uh, you know, Miller's been having a great year. Unfortunately, yes, he, he got dinged up, had the and, slight concussion. And, and Marty, Miller had a great first half. He did. He had a great half, and Marty uh, came out and made some big plays. 
Did more. Sometimes they say backups, you just need to manage the game. He, he did more just, than that, he though. Did. He, he made, made some big plays. He made some big plays. Scored two touchdowns and threw one. That's a lot for a backup. <laughs> Absolutely. Henderson under duress, hauled down. Again, the A-gap stunt. Bradley drank pool. The sophomore we just called up this week to the varsity with a big sack. His dad pitched for me. Yes. Mike, Mike drank pool. I know. He said he went to high very, school with Mike. Very, very good pitcher. His dad was a very good athlete. Well, Mike, uh, proud of his son right there. The sophomore making a big play here late in this game. And it, uh, we have a timeout. Maybe a little late for that. 34 seconds. Now up by 22 points. Our thrills, they had some success running the off tackle, but uh, like you mentioned before, their offense without question runs through Rekka Henderson. Absolutely. Well, here we go, second in 16 for Arthur Hill. Henderson back to pass. Had some time, finally unloads it, but uh, started to feel the heat as uh, Corbet was bearing down on him, threw it at the feet of his receiver. So bring up third and 16. Coach Watkins early in the week, talking to him, some things he was concerned with, his offense would execute and say check on that one. His defense would run to the ball. You mentioned all game long, they certainly did that. Concerned about uh, Henderson. And this time it's complete. No, he drops it. Incomplete. He's unable to quite hang on, broken up by the secondary. He'll bring up fourth and long. I mean, uh, Henderson has made some big plays tonight for sure, but uh, but by and large, did a good job of uh, holding him down. Henderson is an elusive player. He is. And he has an excellent arm, and for the most part has good receivers. It's just they haven't been able to match the physicality of Dow tonight. But you get a little pressure on him, it's always, it's when you start losing your accuracy. He's going deep into the end zone, and it is, see what the call is, intercepted. Intercepted, good play. Now he intercepts Great in play. the end zone. I thought they may call a simultaneous possession, but but no, Dow High will seal it here with that interception. I can't see who it was. He's still down on the field. Uh, looks like he's cramping up yeah, here. Yeah, he's cramping up. It might be Richard. Oh, no, that's not Richard. That's uh, Mason Hayes. Another big play for Hayes. So we've called we've his, called name, his a lot. name a lot Haven't tonight. We? Yes, we have. And so Dow High will just take a knee here, 14 seconds, as they will wrap up a successful homecoming night here at Midland Community Stadium. A spectacular, beautiful fall night. Big crowd treated to a tremendous game by the Chargers. So I thought it was a great game, and I thought Arthur Hill played an excellent game. Even though it was 42-20, it was a competitive game. It was. And so, you know, and we're starting to see the power of Dow High, and, and I think we're starting to see a, a reemergence of an Arthur Hill that, uh, you know, Will Luzar was the former coach, right. Midland, Midland, uh, longtime Midland coach, who went over to Arthur Hill, and this is what he had envisioned. He had said in this right. year he thought his ball club was going to be pretty good. Well, it is pretty good. Right, yes. They're now, you know, even though they're three and two, 
Um, they very easily could win three more games and get into the playoffs. Yeah, definitely. No question about it. And we're going to have some second half highlights coming up here. So uh, we're glad to see them. This is, uh, I think this is the pass to Rob. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Pass to Rob over the middle. And look at him run. Look at those legs get, you know, they, there's another gear there. That's, that should yeah. be scary when yeah. coaches see that on film. Exactly. And then this is, uh, I think this is the long pass by Henderson. Right down into the corner. Yes, yeah. it was. And really, that was a pretty good recovery right there. You know, it's interesting. So, they got they got behind the Dow guys, but never got away from them. I mean, the, the passes that right, were completed yeah. were like that one. I mean, it was an excellent touchdown reception, but you know, Dow wasn't away from them. Right. So they still were able to make a tackle without converting it into a touchdown. This is Heck Anderson running into the end zone from the He's corner. A player. He's a player. Yeah, he is. Very dangerous. I'm kind of glad this game's over. <laughs> I'm sure Coach Watkins. Yeah, once they too. figure out what the heck's going on, there's a great to... recovery right there. Yeah, good, good job. Sid, I mean, Cook. I think Alec Marty's going to be a, a very good football player before it's over, and a very important part of this team. It's kind of a fake draw, but yeah. uh, underthrew it a bit, and that uh, safety was. We're just playing center field and picked it off the second time that happened in the game tonight. This is the pass right here. You see Caleb got a little tied up in there, and then the guy, and again, He's safety came over and made the play. He had to throw they a just, perfect pass. They didn't run complete. away from you. This is Caleb Richard coming through. Made two big sacks yeah, in that same did. possession. This is the other sack coming up here. He's a football player, isn't he? <laughs> yes. Huh? He's There's a football. No doubt. He's a football player. He's an impact player. Yeah, he is. And this is Marty running into the end zone. Well, that'll be it as uh, the celebration continues down on the field with the uh, Dow High Chargers winning their homecoming contest over Arthur Hill 42 to 20. Dow High improving to four in one on the season, just two wins shy of, uh, of making the playoffs. And so Dow High's tremendous season continues and uh, we'll wrap things up here. This is Dave Marsh bringing you all the action from Midland Community Stadium. Final score again, Dow High 42, Arthur Hill 20. We'll see you next time, everybody.